my mother, she, um, after six months of me being around her, she said to me, Elena, I want to be a Muslim. And she started crying. She said, you, you're just an amazing person. And I, I feel like I want to be, you know, part of this. And so for me, that was everything. She, she ended up taking her Shahada and after she took her Shahada, my sister did, and then my other two brothers did. And Alhamdulillah, you know, 25 years later, my family became Muslim. And um, so another, th another story I want to go into is the fact that my brother, when he went to Umrah, he made two du'as. One of those du'as was that his family become Muslim. His second du'a um, was at the time that he had taken his shahada, he was married, and his wife decided to leave him. She did not want to be with a Muslim. And they had three children at the time, which, you know, to him it was very heartbreaking. Uh, he had to decide either I'm going to save myself or continue to be with my family. And he said, what good am I going to be if I'm going to stay with my family if I'm not good with God? And so he decided to, you know, to take his shahada and, and, and go that route. And so, um, subhanAllah, you know, after we all became Muslim, his wife ended up getting married to a Palestinian and his kids were raised in Islam. So Allahu Akbar, you know, so all of his du'as were, were answered to him. Uh, so the power of du'a, again, I always say, just pray to him. He's there waiting for us. We leave him. He never leaves us. You know, he's waiting, sitting there waiting for us to pray to him. Uh, so, you know, then I ended up saying, okay, now I, you know, I have my family, but how do I enter the community space, right? So I think this is very challenging as well. But also, what I got out of it was the fact that we always have a perception of us not being accepted, right? We're, we feel like automatically we're the outsiders. But realistically, we're really not because the Shahada is so powerful. And what we failed to realize is that we just gained billions of brothers and sisters. Like anywhere you go in the world, if you see my sisters in Islam, if you see a hijabi, you're like, okay, I'm good, you know? <laughs> This is now just normal to us. And so I had to figure out how to get connected to different types of community. And so I just organically walked up to everyone. Salaamu Alaikum. My name is Elena and I am Latina. And that's what I started to do in the community. I would go up to people and I would shake their hand. And that was like me breaking that barrier of feeling like I'm an outsider. And so sometimes, and I always say this, Ask questions, because when you assume things, they're not actually what it is. And so one of my main focuses was, okay, I'm going to try to just be myself, because Islam is not really trying to change who you are. It's trying to enhance you, and it's trying to bring you on the right path. This is all we're doing. Some people say that, you know, Islam is, is so hard, and it's really not. Allah gave us the tools to make things easier for us. And so alhamdulillah, you know, um, by me reminding, those, reminding myself of those things and actually being um, educated in, in Islam too. So that was very important for me. Um, so through those efforts, um, I ended up, you know, um, getting married, by the way. My husband is sitting up here, mashallah, he's Palestinian. And, um, and I was able to adhere to different culture, right? So I'm a Latina. I like Spanish food. I love to be around family and friends. And so I'm getting married into a Palestinian household. They like food too, but you know, I like the sazon, the sofrito. I like to put the little Spanish stuff in the food. So I would go back and forth with my mother-in-law and she would make the Arabic food and I would throw in my Spanish seasoning, you know? <laughs> so that was like a good little, you know, that was her, you know, welcoming me and me welcoming her, you know, and, and it was just an amazing, you know, connection. But again, that doesn't happen all the time. I was fortunate enough to be married to someone who was 
open-minded, religious, and he saw me as a Muslim, you know, and, and so when you connect with people, you look at them as just a Muslim. We are brothers and sisters, alhamdulillah.